Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today, we are going to kick off our three-part video or more. And we are officially here in the Court of Stars dungeon in Legion in Suramar on the Broken Isles. And today's OOB credit goes to Submerge from the ATN Discord community. So thank you, Submerge, for this. And uh, the video is dedicated to him, as he was the one that uh, broke out of the OOB first. Now, um, this is going to be a very, very special video. And the reason this is going to be a special video is because not only is it going to be multiple parts, because there is a lot to explore. I'll just say that. I won't spoil things. For those of you that have not broken out of the Court of Stars yet, you're in for a big treat. Uh, and what I mean by big treat is you will see here in a little bit. Now, how to break out of the Court of Stars? Well, it is very, very, very simple. Once you come into the dungeon, you're going to take a boat ride from over here. And then you're just going to take it over here to Moonlit Landing. Now, once you get to Moonlit Landing, you can kind of get out any way you want to. It's up to you, but I recommend this over here. If you have a pillow from the Dragonflight expansion, just place it on the ground right here. Jump on the pillow and get out. And there you go. You're <laughs> already out of the dungeon and you can feel free to mount up. Jump on any water mount you want to do. And uh, we're going to go take a look around. But I bid you guys to really stick around this series. Not only, only is it going to be a lot of fun, but there's going to be a lot in store and to see and explore. This is going to be huge. I'm very excited. I've been wanting to do this series for a long time. I'm going to release these videos once a week. Uh, coming up for like the next five weeks. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot to see, a lot to look around. So let's go explore outside the Court of Stars. Now, as you can tell, it's already really easy to break out of here. You just do what I did and you're out. So we're going to make our way out this way. And this is where I'm going. And we're already going to be out of the map. Now, do be careful. As I believe once you leave this dungeon area, um certain parts of the water you can DC in so do be careful so try to avoid water as you guys know we always want to avoid water inside of OOBs anyways just because uh it's better to do that because you might you know DC you might uh disconnect so just be careful <laughs> but uh yeah guys I am super excited this is going to be a lot of fun to go explore I'm not going to ruin a secret but there is something outside of this dungeon that you're going to notice and I will point it out once we get there. Now, we're going to make our way around the dungeon. Now, I've, I'm also going to be honest with you guys. I've only been out here one other time. Uh, it was about three months ago. Now, actually, when I went out here with Submerge. And uh, a bunch of other people from the ATN Discord. And we explored the Out of Bounds area. But something that makes this Out of Bounds very special is you'll notice something outside of the dungeon. You see Dalaran, you see the Broken Isles, you see Suomar, you see Azuna, you see Storma, you see the whole entirety of the Broken Isles is here. Everything. You can go explore at your free will all around the Broken Isles. It doesn't have to be just in here. You can go to Asuna, you can go to Val Shara, you can go to High Mountain, Stormheim, the Broken Shore. You can go anywhere you want to go. That is what makes this crazy. And this first video... We're going to go explore Azuna and see what's outside. Then we're going to go explore Val Shara, then High Mountain, then Stormheim, then try the Broken Shore. And then at the very end, we're going to wrap it up and we're going to try to fly our way into Dalaran. I haven't been successful in doing that yet, but let's see if we can do it. Who knows? But uh, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun, guys. I'm super excited to go explore everything with you. And uh, where I'm currently at is I'm actually on the backside of the dungeon here. You have to go all the way around. Because you want to get to this um, side of Azuna over here, well, Suramar. And then uh, you want to make sure to avoid inside of the dungeon as much as possible. You can obviously go outside if you want, but just be careful. There is a lot of death walls on the outside of the dungeon. But if you make your way around over here, and uh, where I'm at is right around here, 
you go up this cliff and you can actually go into Azuna and then go all the way around. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to break these videos up into each territory. And uh, yeah, I'm excited, guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what's in each one. I don't remember what's in each one. It has been a long time. There are some very special parts of the video that I want to highlight. And uh, you guys are going to see and have a good time with this. So let's go have an adventure like we always do. This is why I'm here with you guys. I'm here to have an adventure with you. I'm here to explore, here to laugh, here to mess up, here to have fun. Uh, and we're going to find out what they keep down here and what they don't. Now, as you can see, most of everything is here. And there's going to be a few special places that we're going to go visit in the next few videos coming up in these next few weeks. Uh, there's going to be some awesome stuff. So we're going to take a look and we're actually going to go head down here and we're going to go make our way into Azuna and we're going to start with Azuna first. And we're just going to wrap around the aisles. And you know what? We're actually going to be on our other mount here. There we go. Now we look a lot cooler instead of being on the fish. Now I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know where are all the death walls, where are all the DCs at. Obviously, we're going to avoid water if we can. Um, but we're just going to go take a look around at things and just have fun exploring them. And let's go see what we can find. Now, I've been doing a lot of past videos on the Legion expansion already. Um, and I want to thank everybody for tuning in always. And I hope you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I love making them. I do apologize. For uh, not as many uploads recently, uh, I actually just went away this weekend, went up to Lake Tahoe in California, for those of you who know where that's at. I went with my wife, and uh, we had a good time there. We uh, spent time by the lake and uh, got to get out and explore the world a little bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, it was just a fun time. It was a good relaxing time. So we're going to head across the water here. And if I do DC or I do disconnect, I do apologize to you guys. Like I said, I don't know where all the DC walls are, all the disconnects at. We do want to try to avoid water outside the map as much as possible. And as you can see, I can't. I already got stuck going up the hill. So let's go take a look out this way. We finally made it to Azuna. And uh, we're just going to make our way around, all the way around. And we're just going to go see if there's anything awesome hiding out here. But what makes this dungeon special, like I said, the whole entirety of the Broken Isles is here. So we're going to go explore each little piece of it, and uh, we're just going to go have fun with it. So let's make our way out this way across the bridge, and we'll just start, and I'll slowly go by and show you guys what it looks like going around here. Now, there isn't going to be too much of a difference, because, you know, it's the entirety of the Broken House. But there are places where I'm sure we're going to be able to get to that we normally can't. And they do keep all of Dalaran there in the distance, which is really awesome to see. I didn't think that they would do that, uh, but it's pretty amazing to me that they do. Now, what I'm curious to see if they keep all the vaults of the wardens and all that out there. Um, but as you can tell, they do have the temple out here. Let's go see how much they actually keep loaded in. Now, I, I think this is awesome. I mean, for me as an out of bounds explorer, I love that we can go explore all this content out here. But on the same side, I think it's very lazy on Blizzard's part. Why would you keep an entirety of the Broken Isles outside of a map when you can just keep some of it and cover up with smo smoke and mirrors, you know? Like, I don't understand why load in everything. It just doesn't make any sense to me, but I'm not a game developer, so I don't know. But look at this. They do keep most of all the caves active, so you can go in the caves, you can explore them in all their entirety. So if you ever wanted to explore the Broken Isles, and you didn't want to deal with enemies, this is your time, this is your chance to do so. Let's go take a look at this boat over here that's just laying out in the water. Now what's really awesome is we can see already the dungeon and uh, everything in the distance over there. There goes, uh, we got Dalaran in the sky, we got the broken shore over there with the Tomb of Salgaris. We got the uh, dungeon that we just broke out of, the Court of Stars on the left over here. So there's a lot that they keep, and I believe they keep all of that over there as well. So we're I'm excited to actually make our way out there. Ah, uh, poor, poor whale. Did not make it, unfortunately. <laughs> That's really sad. Oh, we DC'd. That's what I'm saying. Don't touch the water, guys. 
Be careful. Um, I need to jump. Hopefully we can get out of this. Oh, okay, good. Okay, that's it is a perfect example, guys. Do not touch the water when you're out of bounds. You will DC. The problem with out of bounds swimming is there is none. <laughs> what happens is your character has a, let's say, a coded swimming movement, right? So when you touch water, the game knows to put you in a swimming animation. The problem is when you're out of bounds and you're never meant to swim to begin with in a dungeon, which is which is very odd. You know, I, I find it very strange because in the dungeon, you could swim um, breaking out of the map, right? But once you go out of bounds, you can't. So what happens is the game doesn't know how to put you in the swimming animation and it doesn't exist anymore outside the map. So it just does like this weird DC uh, state where you can't swim anymore. Um, and that that's why we got to avoid the water. So perfect example. Don't swim. You will get DC'd. Luckily, we got lucky there. And uh, we were able to just mount back up. And um, if you do get stuck, I do recommend trying to enter back in. And uh, the best thing to do is try to either fly forward with glide, uh, venture retreat, metamorphosis. Like, just do anything you can. Fell rush out. Anything you can to catch yourself before you jump back in the water. And that usually does the trick. Sometimes you'll just get stuck in a DC motion. And uh, you won't be able to get out. And you'll have to just, you know, do the blizzard unstuck ticket support thing. Which kind of sucks, you know. You have to use one of your support tickets, but... Unfortunately, that just happened. So just be weary that uh, there are ways to get out of it right there. We got super lucky um, But we are gonna try to make our way over to the Isle of the watchers here. What's funny is I don't have all these places uh, discovered. I know a lot of you know that uh, <laughs> Demon hunter is not my main unfortunately hunter is <laughs> Demon hunter is my out-of-bounds um, tune that because it's he's uh demon hunters are the best for doing out of bounds content because of their kit is so loaded and uh it's just so good for exploring with that right there like you got fell rush you got ventral retreat you can just jump farther than you normally can and glide and it's just the best so i highly recommend playing a demon hunter if you're ever going to do out of bounds exploration now coming up here they do keep a lot as you can see on the map. Now we haven't actually explored it. Um, because my hunter is my main. I don't have a lot of these places explored. So I'm trying to see. Where do we want to go? Okay. We want to go over here. Isle of the Watchers. We want to head to and see if they keep the entrance to Fall to the Wardens. Which I believe they do. So we're going to be careful here. And we're gonna just going to glide over and avoid the water so we don't get stuck. Now... I'm going to, another thing, I'm going to give you guys a tip. When you're doing out of bounds exploration, be careful with caves. The caves are very deceiving. <laughs> and what I mean by that is like this cave right here. It might be fully explorable. Like, let's go walk in here. It is, right? You can go in here. You can explore. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Sometimes caves look like they're open, but they'll have a wall. You'll run into like a wall that will stop you right here. If you get into a cave far enough, sometimes you will get stuck and that sucks. <laughs> uh, and those are kind of difficult to get out of. So just be weary caves. Not all caves are always loaded in. Sometimes you'll go inside of them and you won't be able to get out and it will either DC you, you'll get stuck or you'll just have to find another way out. So just be super cautious going into caves. Now, I don't think these caves are that problem so far. All the caves have been loaded in, and we've had no problems with them so far, as you guys have seen. So, I don't think it should be a big deal, and we should be able to explore caves in this OB, which is very exciting to me, because we'll be able to explore more. Um, but a lot of times, that doesn't always happen, and you'll get stuck, and it just sucks. So, now, can we make it up here? I guess not. Oh, I should have metamorphosis. I didn't think about that. Uh, that's okay. We can just go the long way around. It's no big deal. We're not in a hurry, right? We're going to go explore the whole island of Zuna anyways. So let's just uh, keep making our way out this way. Or let's just go back down. We'll just go around. It's it's fine. I'm not worried about it. Now, it's, it's crazy to me 
that in this one dungeon you have the whole isle of the broken isles outside like we can literally go explore anywhere free will um and that is just incredible to me as you guys can see they keep basically everything out here like every model every detail everything you want to see it's out here and that's just absolutely amazing to me it blows my mind you would think that Blizzard would want to save resources when going into a dungeon, put up some smoke and mirrors, don't load up the whole island, but that's not the case. <laughs> and that just makes it more fun for us out of bouncers. People who want to explore out of bound content, people who want to see the game for what it is, right? Like we're able to do that. And I think that's awesome for us, but it just sucks on your hardware. You could save so much uh, <laughs> space and you know, not having to load in as much stuff when you're doing dungeons, but it is what it is. All right, now we're going to go up here. I do believe they do keep the entrance to the vaults of the wardens here. So we're going to see if we can actually go into it. Oh, um, are we on the wrong side? Where are we? Guys, are we there? Are we on the back side or are they, am I just stupid and... Not seeing the uh, entrance here. Is it just unloaded, maybe? Where am I at? Oh, I don't even know if I'm near it yet. Okay, I'm not even near the entrance yet. Alright, I'm stupid. Or this is it, right? This is the entrance usually, isn't it? Oh no, over there. Okay. Ah, silly Nathan. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> this is the entrance, isn't it? No, it's not. It's right over here. There we go. Alright, let's get back on our mount. And let's go see if they keep the actual entrance here. Oh, they do. All right, can we go inside? Now, uh, I am a little afraid. The reason being is because sometimes these entrances, you can go inside, but they'll either stop you or you'll fall through the map. So we're going to find out what's going to happen here. Now, I think the entrance actually goes all the way into here. So I think we're going to get stopped by a wall here in a second. Uh, I'm so nervous. Okay, it didn't. Cool. All right. Yeah, so we did get stuck. Unfortunately, the entrance is still here. It doesn't actually show the portal, but there's like a wall up. You can't go inside. So that's unfortunate, but they do keep the entrance here, which is really neat. So if you want to do like a liminal space thing, this, is, this would be a place to go to. Now, if we were to get on the other side of this uh, wall, we would most likely fall through the map and we would DC. So we don't want to do that um, because trust me, I've done that plenty of times in other entrances to dungeons and that's normally what happens is you fall through the map it's actually not loaded there actually fun fact in um uh what is the what am i thinking of uh in pandaria mm, yeah miss the pandaria in the scarlet monastery in the graveyard section if you get behind the old um uh, what do you call it where Thanos used to be down below now there's a gate to like his cemetery tomb or whatever you can't you can actually jump past that as a demon hunter if you go and walk into there you will actually just fall through and you'll just die or you'll DC <laughs> so just a heads up if you guys manage to ever get back there um yeah it's uh it's something I uh found that out accidentally the other day I was playing I miss a Pandaria remix because I'm trying to level up a demon hunter. I'm really late to the party. I haven't been playing Miss Pandaria remix at all. And uh, I was, I just had finished doing a dungeon with a bunch of people and they left. And I was like, oh, let me go explore the map a little bit. And I actually ended up jumping through the cage or the gate that's put in the tomb. And I, <laughs> I fell through the floor. Uh, if you keep walking and you ID seed, so that's how I know that. Uh, so just giving you guys a heads up. If you go do some OB in the Scarlet Monastery, be careful going down behind the gate because you will fall through in DC. So, anyways, we're not in the Scarlet Monastery. We are in the Court of Sadars and we are on Azuna right now. And let's get back to the video. I'm going off side topics here. As you guys can tell, I'm very excited to always talk about OB. I love doing OOB. Now, also, I didn't mention this. I do have a potion on, the Stinky Bright Potion, so you guys may have already noticed. Um, but I, I like to keep this on for OOBs now. It's I think it's neat, because you get to see a lot more stuff and highlights the area, so. I don't know, I like it. It just makes the maps more alive. And are we gonna make this? Yeah, just barely, look at us. We're so good at this game. 
we could just make it. Isn't that a beautiful shot behind us with Dalaran in the background, like a shadow? Uh, I think that's really neat. But let's actually go take a look over here. And let's go break out. And let's go break out. We already broke out. Let's go up here. So they do keep all the dungeon. What is this? Just a random box sitting here. Okay. Thought that was maybe like something else. You know, I try to go walk into all these places because I want to go see if they keep like a cube or a test NPC or something here. You know, you just never know. You never know with these dungeons. You never know with these OOBs, the raids outside. Sometimes they keep the stuff. Sometimes they don't. But it's really neat to go explore this whole island without... Oh, yeah, we can mount up, can't we? Oh, no, we lost our mount. Why didn't we lose our mount in the other one? But we can't use our mount here. Huh. I don't know. So that's where we just came from. And remember, we were able to mount up. Oh, what's my graphics setting at? It's at 5. Yeah, okay, yeah, because my computer sucks. Um. So we're just going to keep it on 5. That's fine. All right, let's go head out back to the coast over here. And let's keep exploring the Isle of uh, Zuna. I hope I'm saying that right, by the way. I know you guys know I'm not a big lore guy. I don't know how to pronounce things properly. So I apologize if I'm saying Azuna wrong. Forgive me. A bunch of all you lore nerds can be like, hey, Nathan, it's Azuna. All right. Freaking get it right. Now, I'm really nervous. I don't know if we're going to make. Yeah, we're going to make that. All right, we're good. We're good. Ooh, that was really risky doing that because if my other fell rush didn't come up fast enough, we would have landed in the water. But we're good. We're good. We got this. All right, let's mount back up. It's actually a, it's actually a Zuana, Nathan. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you guys to like correct me with stuff. Um, it's funny. Now, what's cool about this is that, um, man, going through this OOB is giving me a lot of flashbacks. I remember the Legion expansion was great. Uh, I talked about that in the um, Cathedral of Eternal Night OOB, and uh, I, I loved Legion. I mean, who didn't love Legion, right? Like, Legion was a great expansion. It was a lot of fun, and I don't know. I had a great time with it. And just going through these places, I haven't made a level one character in a long time other than the miss bandera remix obviously but going through and traveling through these places is really awesome again it's just cool to see everything unspawned i guess you could say Ooh, let's go check out this cave let's go see what's over here and like i said they do keep all the caves we're probably going to get dismounted here or maybe not okay maybe not i thought we would have got dismounted a long time ago but see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, why does Blizzard keep so much loaded in? It just doesn't, it just boggles my mind. Like, every single cave is enterable. Everything you can see is outside the Court of Stars. Like, you're able to go to, it just, I don't know. I love it, right? Well, we love it. We're OOB people, but it's just like, why not save the space? You know, like loading into dungeons. Why not make it easier on the computers to load everything? Like, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. But I get it. They want the effect for, you know, when you're inside the dungeon, you're looking around. I get it. All right, let's go up here to the Fell Surge Isle. Oh, no, sorry. Fell Surge Nest. And let's go see what they keep out here. Now, if you guys can keep a lookout while I'm riding around... I might be missing NPCs. I might be missing box cubes. Um, I might not see like test anything. So I haven't seen anything yet. Ooh, wouldn't it be awesome if we could get up into there? I don't know if we actually can. Mike could go away and fly into there, right? No, I think it's too high up. I don't think we're going to be able to get in there. That's okay. What I do want to get into is Dalaran in the end, if we can do that. That's going to be a cool finale. All right, let's keep going out this way. Can... Oh, you know, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to, like, go over there and... I think you can actually get on the spaceship, but that's okay. You know what that is? It's the same copy of the uh, Demon Hunter um, 
artifact zone, right? So the class order hall, I should say. Uh, so, it, I mean, we all know what it looks like inside. But I would be curious if you can actually get in there. Maybe we'll do that another time. All right, let's keep making our way out this way. It's so awesome, guys, it's just to be able to, you know, explore this whole Broken Isles without having to deal with enemies. It's kind of like a nice roam feeling, you know? You don't have to deal with, like, enemies charging at you or the freaking murlocs gurgling at you while you're trying to walk around. It's like, all I want to do is just explore. All right, let's head back in this way because um, we want to make sure that we're exploring everything entirely. I don't want to skip out on stuff for you guys. Now, I'm going to turn up my graphics quality here. And the reason being is I want to load things in quicker so you guys are able to see stuff as I'm moving around here. Um, let me check something real quick. All right, so far we're doing okay. All right, I just want to check my recording because sometimes my, uh, for whatever reason when I'm recording, the, man, it just gets really bad with the encoding. And it starts to lag my game really hard. And also the recording starts to lag. So just got to be wary of that. I need to upgrade my computer. I would like to get a better CPU and graphics card and all that in the future so I could record these videos and have higher quality graphics settings and blah, 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 blah. Um, probably going to be picking a new computer up by the end of the year. So we'll see. Again, I'm hoping to find a good Black Friday deal. A Best Buy or something. <laughs> I buy pre-built, so I'm lame. I know. I, uh, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of building rigs anymore. I used to do that when I was younger and I'm just got tired of doing it. So I'm like, ah, I'm just going to buy pre builds from now on. As an adult, it saves so much time. All right, let's keep going out this way. And let's actually go check out the runes. Now, we haven't really found too much interesting stuff. I apologize, guys. But hang in there with me. Because as we go into Val Shara, you're going to want to go in there. Because I won't spoil it. But there's 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 some awesome stuff there. I, I will tell you, you're going to want to hang out for the next video uh, with this series. So this one is just the introduction. And, uh, but it is awesome to explore everything with no NPCs, right? I mean, we get to go wherever we want to go. What I do like about Out of Bounds 2 normally is that because you can go wherever you want to go, a lot of times you can get into places that you're normally not supposed to get to that might be blocked off by a quest or an, <clears throat> an NPC you haven't discovered yet or whatever right a door you it's locked but it, the door is gone because you're in the out of bounds like it's just awesome to just be able to go and explore everywhere without having to deal with nonsense and i love it all right uh you know i'm curious to see if the eye of ajara portal entrance is over there sometimes they do keep the portal entrances so i'd be curious to see i don't think it is but you know let's go find out I hope that we can just surf over everything. I love this mount so much. It's just so cool. All right. Uh, okay, it's going to be on the aisle over here. It doesn't look like there's the portal, but uh, let's go find out. I don't know if we've loaded it in yet, to be fair. We got an awesome cave over here. Doesn't look like it goes too far in, but you can guys kind of get a little look in there. Now, this is the normal... This would be the normal entrance to the Eye of Ashara dungeon. Uh, the portal would be sitting right over here. And it doesn't look like it is. Oh, that's cool, though. So this would be the Eye of Ashara portal entrance right here. So, yep. It's not there, unfortunately. But they do keep everything out here, which is really neat. Well, let's actually go head out. So we know that. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Now my heart is full. I know that it's not there. So I'm happy. <laughs> we discovered it. Whatever. All right, let's get back on our mount. And let's keep heading out this way. And let's go take a look. 
I do have to say, this OB is very peaceful. Like I said, it's so nice to explore things without having to deal with enemies on your butt 24 7. Um, let's go do a little stroll through the forest here, shall we? I'm going to turn off my mic for a minute and let you guys enjoy. That's really nice, you know? I'm really enjoying this OB. It's very relaxing being able to just take a stroll through here. Ah, so here goes one of the big questing things that I think a lot of you guys remember, just like me. Um, isn't the, uh, the dragon or whatever, like the sleeping dragon right here usually? He's just chilling out in the cool crystal pool. I love this look. It's so pretty. Let's go take a look if they keep the whole cave here, which I'm assuming they do. Because all the other caves have been full so far. But if we go into... How far can we go in? Wow, okay, so we can actually go in here. Now, what's really awesome is usually they would demount you, right? But it's like we're not actually underground. And you can just ride your mount freely around in here. Man, this is one of the most beautiful caves in the game, I think. Look at all this. Awesome. Wow, this goes all the way far back, doesn't it? It's an awesome, beautiful cave. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to get some water real quick. back sorry about that all right let's keep heading out this way and let's go make our way up into this area and let's go do the upper side of azuna so so far you know we haven't really seen anything awesome out of bounds but it is just really neat that you can go and explore the whole section without having to deal with the enemies like i was saying earlier so i'm loving that i hope you guys are too Hope this is more of a, more, uh, what do you call it? Relaxing OB for you guys. Taking a little stroll through Azuna. With Nathan. <laughs> and I hope you guys get to do a, uh, out of bounds Court of Stars for yourself as well. Because this is really awesome. But, I will tell you guys, for those of you who have hanged in with me this long, and I've watched the whole video. First of all, thank you. But second, I do want to say is that hang in there because the next video we're going to be doing on the next part is going to be awesome. Like, you're going to want to see some cool stuff in there. I do remember exactly what's in there. And <laughs> you're going to be pretty blown away that you're going to be like, what the heck? So I will just say it's, yeah. Just uh, bear with me, all right? All right, let's keep making our way up the hill. Making our way up the hill. All right, let's keep surfing. And let's keep going. And let's go out this way. And let's go get up in the tower up here. Let's go see if we can actually get up here. And I believe we can. We're going to get an awesome view of the whole aisle here. 
Look at that. Look at all my beautiful unloaded World of Warcraft. Isn't that just amazing? Because my graphic settings. <laughs> Everything's deloaded. So as you guys can tell, I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you, like, everything is here. You can explore all of the Broken Isles. So, we haven't gone into here yet. So let's go up here and explore that way. So let's go back up over here. And let's go take a cool Batman glide down the aisle here. All right, let's vengeful retreat. And let's just go head out this way. Check this out. Ooh, look at the symbol on the ground. They do keep all of like the fell stuff as well. So that's neat. <clears throat> Man, I thought Blizzard at least hide some awesome stuff out here. Maybe we need to go back to the actual dungeon dungeon. But I thought that they would keep a lot more out here than they would. I mean, I know the whole broken house out here. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, like, in general, I, it would have been awesome to see, like, a test subject or something out here. I don't know. Like a test... Human test model or night elf or... I don't know. I mean, this is awesome. Like, don't get me wrong. It's cool that they do keep all of this. And you're able to load in. And explore everything freely. So I'm not complaining. But it would be awesome to see, like, you know... Out of bounds, out of bounds stuff, as you guys know. Here's the question. Can we glide and make it over there? I believe in us, and I believe we can. Well, let's do it. And we did it. All right, yeah, I don't know why I was questioning that. Do you got to be careful touching water? We don't want to go swim. Man, I love this, like, crystallized stuff. Well, guys, I think we're coming to an end here. We're definitely going to go do uh, Val Sharon next. And let's actually go start heading up that way. Now, um, what was I going to say? Like I said, bear with me. No, guys. Ha. Huh. All right. You know what? Because you guys are awesome, let's go do Valshara on this video as well. Um, I just feel like, because there wasn't much in Azuna to see, um, I want to show you guys something that's just absolutely incredible in the Valshara area. Um... This is what I was holding on to and trying to hold on to the next video, but I'm like, you know what? Let's just go do it. Let's just, let's go. Um, I want to show you guys. So welcome to part two <laughs> of the uh, Legion Broken Isles, Out of Bounds, Court of Stars dungeon exploration. Uh, Val Shara was definitely one of my favorite zones in all of Legion. I just love the um, statues and the, I don't know, just the look of everything. Awesome to keep everything out here, too. Alright, so let's go take a look at Black Rook Hold real quick. Um, and then we will go to the big surprise that I've been wanting to show you guys this whole time. And a lot of you already know where I'm going. Probably already know where I'm going. But, uh, just hang in there with me, alright? Because there's something that makes these uh, out of bounds special, right? Not only can you explore the whole Broken Isles here. 
but uh, there's some really awesome things you can do. All right, we got to be careful here because we're dealing with water, and I think we can do a little shortcut getting up here. Oh, game. No! Okay. Woo! I need to get close. All right, we're just going to accept defeat. Accept defeat and go around. Forget it. I thought for sure we would uh, be able to do a shortcut. That's okay. We're just gonna have to go around. Trying to make my way over to the Black Brook Hold. Oh gosh, I thought we were gonna jump in the water there and get DC'd again, so. I'm just so afraid. But let's keep going this way. So for those of you joining me in this part two video, I, uh, <laughs> I explained in the first video that, uh, in the first part, in uh, Zuna, that you get DC'd if you go into water when you're doing out-of-bounds exploration most of the time because your character can't do the swimming animation and uh, blah, blah, blah. So, And so the game doesn't know what to do, and so the swimming animation doesn't exist anymore, and so the game just freaks out and it DCs you because it doesn't know what to do. So... All right. Nah, dang it. Just like that. <laughs> I didn't think we would DC again, to be honest with you guys. All right. I think we should be okay, though. It should just put us back on our mount. I'm going to keep jumping here just in case. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around this way. All right. Now, what's really awesome here is they do keep all of Black Rook Hold here. Now, for those of you who haven't, I did do a video on Black Rook Hold already. And I explored all of the Out of Bounds. Oh, I love that. You got the uh, Gildenaeus Morgan music going. Okay. And that's what I was talking about DCing, so do be careful. Now, let's go up to the Black Rook Hold, and let's go see if they keep everything here, which I believe they do. If... Everything has been just like the others. I'm assuming they do. Um, now that's normally the entrance down there to the dungeon. I'm going to assume they don't actually keep that, but let's go take a look. There's no way. Yeah, so this is the Black Rook Hole dungeon entrance. And I would be very shocked if they actually kept... Oh, they do. Okay. But it's going to stop us right here. Or it's not. Wow. All right. Awesome. Cool. Very cool. So we could actually go into the Black Rook Hold beginning entrance area, which is awesome. All right. I didn't think we could do that, to be real with you. Well, that's exciting. I like that. Definitely gonna have to put that in my liminal space video, the next one I'm gonna do. Spoilers, I am making another liminal space video, so do you guys love the first one so much? So I got I'm working on that. I already got like three places already, so I'm gonna do another another five. Um I already got three places, so I gotta put another one. That might be another one. That one was really awesome. I like that a lot. Man, they really keep this whole place, don't they? Jeez. This is what I'm saying, like, finding stuff out of bounds is just amazing. Alright, guys. I have held on to you long enough. Um, thank you for bearing with me through this whole video. I know this video is super long. But... What makes this out of bounds really special, the Court of Stars... Do you remember when I talked about you're not able to get to places you're not normally supposed to? Uh, you're sorry. You're able to get the place you're not normally supposed to, right? This is one of those examples, and I think you guys know where I'm going with this. Now, normally, in cl class order halls, only that class can go into it, right? But because the whole Broken Isles is here, that even means the Druid class order hall, the Dream Grove, is here in its entirety. And we can go in there as a demon hunter, which is awesome, which we're going to go explore now. 
So sit back, relax, and let's go take a look into the Druid Order Hall as a Demon Hunter. This is going to be awesome. Guys, look at this. <laughs> Isn't this awesome? We are in the Dream Grove. We are in the Druid Order Hall as a Demon Hunter. And we're going to go explore all of it in its entirety without having to get kicked out. Because normally it would transport you out, right? How awesome is this? Look at that. This is what makes this OOB so cool. To me, anyways. Look at this. We gotta get a photo. We're here in the class order hall for the druid playing as a demon hunter. And look at the dreamway gateway. They keep that here too. Oh, this is awesome. See you guys, I told you this video would pay off. Just bear with me here, huh? I'll show you guys some awesome things. Man, we have to go through the portal just because, right? Oh, it does make the noise too. Look at that. Oh, this is an awesome, it's kind of like, like a liminal space back here, huh? You got the waterfall. Man, I love this. This is so cool. You know, this is what makes it be fun. This is what makes Out of Bounds awesome. And you can actually go in here at these as well. Check this out. They got all the tunnels here. So you can go explore all you want. But if you guys ever want to go into the Druid Order Hall without being a Druid, this is your time. Look at that. Let's go take a look down here. Oh my gosh. No, we do see it. <laughs> okay, we do see it. Um, hopefully we can get out of this. Like I told you guys, I don't know what's a DC and what's not. I'm going to try to bench forward treat backwards. Ooh, okay. All right, thank God. Okay, so that's as far as you can actually go. So do be careful. Um, so we unfortunately can't keep going farther because we're going to DC like we just did. So we're going to head back out. But look how far you can get in here. Isn't this amazing? We're a demon hunter in the Druid Order Hall. Like, who does that? <laughs> Come on, guys. This is great. We're making history here. All right, let's go head back out. Unfortunately, we can't mount up. It dismounted us. And we dc but look at that. I mean, that is just awesome. All right. Let's mount back up. Let's go take a look some more around. Now, as you can tell, they do keep all of the buildings here. Everything in its entirety. All the buildings, all the structures, all the wells, all the books. And let's go head down here. Let's go take a look. I love that we can just ride our mount everywhere. It doesn't recognize that we're in a building. That's so amazing to me. Where are we right now? All right. Well, let's go to the circle of spirits over here. Oh man, this is so amazing. This is incredible, guys. I love it. I love this so much. It, see, this is the stuff that I'm talking about. Like, why would Blizzard keep the order halls out here? I guess, well, why wouldn't they, right? No, you're never supposed to be out here to begin with. But this is what you get when you do out of bounds exploration. You get these awesome places to go explore. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, guys, we got to take a picture here, right? Look at that. We're in the Druid order hall. That's a demon hunter. We got to get a picture. Smile. Oh, this is awesome. You know, these are moments that it just makes me, um, 
not emotional, but just filled with joy, like doing out of bounds exploration and I don't know. It's just awesome. Like it's just a feeling you don't get in doing anything else, you know, in in the game. It's just like these moments pay off of just seeing stuff. You know, I I know anybody could go in here. You could be a druid, but being able to be another class in another class order hall. When do you ever get to do that? Um so this is just incredible to me. And I thank you guys for being here with me to witness All right, you guys, so we're going to come to the end of the video here. I know this was a really, really long one, but I wanted to do kick off this Court of Stars videos in a right way and just come in with a boom. Um, if you guys have never done the Court of Stars OOB yet, I highly recommend you do. As you can tell, you can do some awesome stuff with it. This is just the beginning, guys. We haven't even got to... High Mountain, we haven't got the Stormheim, we haven't got the Suamar yet, and all that in its entirety in the outside of Quarter Stars. We haven't got to the Broken Shore yet. We haven't got to the Eye of a Shark. Like, we haven't tried to flown Dollar in. Like, there's going to be a lot to explore, and I can't wait for these next coming weeks. Now, I know I said I was going to do them in the parts, but I want to thank you guys, because I know this was a long video. This was Azuna, then we did Val Shara. And uh, thank you guys for being here with me, exploring this. It's just incredible right what you can see outside of out of bounds um i'm truly humbled and blessed to be showing these videos to you guys you're the best community in the world um i couldn't be more grateful for all of you and watching these videos and being here with me um so far um we're almost at 6,000 subscribers which is incredible and uh i just i can't wait to continue doing more of these quarter star videos um, I hope you guys are going to be here along with the journey with me. Saturday, July, what's that, the 27th, right? The Saturday, July 27th, yeah. At 12 p.m., we have the Transmog Contest. That's 12 p.m. PST. I hope you guys are prepared. There's going to be $100 worth of Amazon gift cards to give out. So one winner in Europe, one winner in NA. There'll be a $50 gift card for each winner there. And uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun. And we're just going to have a good time with it. So I hope to see you all there coming up on Saturday at 12 p.m. And I believe that's 8 o'clock European time because it's 8-hour difference. If I'm not mistaken. Sorry, I'm already forgetting all my announcements here. <laughs> that is, yeah, 8 p.m. Eastern. Or, sorry, European time. And then NA time will be 12 p.m. So hope to see you guys all there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Come, come out for the Transmog Contest. And uh, it's going to be a great time. So anyways, guys, thank you for joining me on part one of the Court of Stars in Legion. I can't wait to show more what's to come. This is just the beginning. We're going to go see a lot more stuff and uh, I will catch you guys all on the next video. As always, my name is Nathan. Take care.